So in this week's Q&A, we've got a question from Mike Dorman2 on the community forum who asks, Hi Calm, I remember Betfair had a service for historic data, which doesn't seem to be available now. Do you know if there is historic data available? So thanks for the question, Mike. Uh, I've picked it out. I think it's one that will apply to a lot of people, a lot of people will be interested in, because historic data is very useful uh, to anybody that wants to make a profit on the exchange. And the first thing to say is, it is still available, yes. You just haven't found it. Um, or maybe you did find it and there was a glitch with the page because just finding it myself on screen there, um, I did notice a couple of times when I was selecting various parameters, trying to pull up the different options that I wanted, there was a bit of a glitch with the page, so it could have been the case. Um, so it's useful for several different reasons. First of all, they're willing to provide you with timestamp data. So, you know, when it's timestamped, it makes it far easier to measure that information, the moves, the changes in price, how that could be useful to you. Um, obviously, that means you can then experiment with that data, manipulate it, um, do all sorts of back testing with it over previous historic events and try and understand exactly what's happening and why, just in case anybody was wondering why historic data would be so useful on Betfair. Um, you can take that one step further, uh, I'll talk about it in a second, and actually re-simulate the markets so you can let things play out again in front of you, basically replay the market, um, which is huge because obviously information is power. The more knowledge you've got, the more chance you've got of succeeding. So the problem that comes with this, um, because I'm going to share where you can get the, the historic data in a second, is the formats in which it comes and the way it's displayed. Um, it is a specialist to topic, it is quite niche, so unfortunately um, not everybody's going to be able to make full use of it if they do get some historic data. So by all means check on the links that I share um, that you'll be able to do that before paying for it and before downloading previous historic data. Um, all, the, all the details and information is on those links. I would say straight off the bat, this is going to be more interesting for, for programmers um, and people with those kind of skills. One to mention that I've seen on Twitter already, a guy called Lorenzo posts some interesting stuff sometimes. He's actually built his own little app program um, which links into the API. Um, and he uses historic data and all that kind of stuff as well to work out what's going on and allows him to replay some of the markets so he can simulate the markets and simulate his own trading. Um, so that would be really interesting if you've got the skill set and the ability to do it. Um, and that's the type of thing that people would be interested in historic data for. Where can you get it? There's two places that are of interest. Uh, first of all is the um, first link which we'll put in the description below. And that, is, that allows you to purchase different types of historic data based on uh, the speed at which it updates, whether it's every minute, whether it's 50 milliseconds, there's a different price range. So you have to click through, make selections for what you want on there to find the actual pricing. It's not too badly priced. You know, you can spend up to a couple hundred quid quite easily, um, depending on the speed at which you want it. However, I should note, uh, make a note that it is for personal use only. So if you want to use it commercially and you're looking at creating your own trading app or something like the Geeks Toy, then you would need a different license for that. So you won't be able to publish the data or you know do anything like that with it as well. Uh, also, they'll put a second link in there as well, is the API beginners page, because you may want to consider um, getting your own API key license on a personal level again so that you can connect in and use your own application like some of the some of the other people are doing. For a API key, it's currently £299. So again, it's quite affordable, providing you're serious. If you're somebody that uses it a little bit more recreation, uh, rec recreationally uh, and don't know if it's actually going to be of use to, it might not be something that you want to pursue. So those links will be in the descriptions below. Uh, it all depend, the cost and everything all depends on the frequency at which you want the data and the timestamp data and how long for and on what sports and etc etc. So interesting topic, that answers your question fully there Mike, I um, hope that's useful. The, I'm sure that also undoubtedly there's a lot of people out there that are going to understand this topic, have way more experience in it than I, so by all means share your thoughts and comments in uh, the comments below and uh, let everybody else know what you know basically because I can't actually go any deeper than that on Betfair's historic data.